Now that we have the basic components of a run chart, let's think about how we'd use this. Let me tell you a personal story. When I first started working in the quality improvement area years ago, I was living in Chicago and I commuted 35 miles from my home to the hospital where I worked. So I would be hung up in traffic for what seemed to be an inordinate amount of time. So what did I do? I said, let's start plotting my commute time. So I'm going to do it by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Not counting weekends, work days. And on the y-axis, I'm going to plot the number of minutes it takes me to commute. Zero to, I put an upper range of about uh, 120 minutes, give myself some time. In Chicago, there could be some hang-ups, traffic, weather, etc. So I start plotting. Then I realized that I needed to make two charts, one for my morning commute and then one for the evening commute. And at first I thought they were probably the same, but then I realized after I plotted the data that they were quite different. So let's look at the morning commute. And I start plotting my data by Monday, Tuesday, and I plot the chart and it's going along and I've got some variation. I'm going to put my center line, which as we know is the median, X with a tilde above it. And lo and behold, I found out that my average center line, the median time, was about 48 minutes. It was about 35 miles I had to travel. Now, what dawned on me after I did this chart was basically that it was random variation. It was stable, it was predictable, some days it would be up, some days it would be down, but overall it was up and down and there were no violations of any of the rules, not a shift, a trend, too little, too few variations, no astronomical data points, just up and down, back and forth. And what I came to quickly realize, that while there was an average of about 48, that I was actually spending less time commuting than I thought. It was more of a mental issue. I'm stuck in traffic and you think time is going very slowly. Not until you plot it though do you actually see what's happening. Then I started to think about how I could actually improve this process. So what did I do? I started coming up with my model for improvement and I start thinking about what changes could I make. So here I have the y-axis and my x-axis and my minutes and my days along the x-axis. Right. So now I came up with this brilliant idea. I've got my average just bouncing along here at about 48 minutes and right here is where I decided to make a change. I thought after looking at a map that I could take a different route and this looked to be a less congested route than following some of the major freeways in Chicago. So I extend my center line which is my average of about 48 minutes, the median, and now I'm going to see what happens to my commute after I made my change. So I've actually instituted a PDSA test right here. I thought this was a great idea. I plot the data and what do I discover? That actually now I have a shift in my process because I had more than six data points above the median and it was actually now taking me longer and if I computed the average, the center line, for this new commute time, it actually took me about 55 minutes on the average. It was a failed PDSA, so what do I do? I don't do that route anymore and I go back to my baseline and say, are there any other changes I can make? Extend my center line, which is my baseline, because this is my baseline data here. And now I'm going to see, can I come up with new ideas that may in fact give me what I was looking for, a lower commute time. And I would know that again by the rules. I did discover some interesting things that you run into special events. So I'm commuting, and again we'll look at the AM commute, and we, it was up and down, back and forth on the average about 48 minutes but then one day wonk I had this spike it literally took me two and a half hours to get home and this turned out to be a rapid snowstorm that hit on Valentine's Day and Chicago was just stuck 
And it was one of those you call home and you say, I have no idea when I'm going to get home. We had a special cause, a snowstorm. On the other hand, there was a time when I had to go in on a holiday to have a special meeting. And instead of my regular time, what we saw was a drop. And when I annotated, which is a key thing to do, you annotate your charts, put a note on it. So here I wrote snowstorm. And here I wrote holiday. Because I went in on a holiday when there was far less traffic on the road. Now these are not normal parts of the commute. I saw on the average my commute was still about 48 minutes, but I was able to annotate and demonstrate why these were anomalies and not part of the normal variation. So pick something, whether you run, cycle, golf, commute time, apply it to a work process. Start to collect some data, plot it on a chart over time, and start applying these simple run chart rules to understand the variation that lives in your process.